that. Uh, How much would you say Marquise has grown as a game manager in about the last five or six weeks? Well, that's uh, that's one of those things that's it's always progressing, and and every game is different. Situations come up in every game that are different than the previous games, so we're continuing to, to work with him about always being ready for the unexpected. And the more times you see things. The more confident you are, the more comfortable you are. But he's, he's done a really good job and really protecting the ball is the biggest thing as far as being a game manager as a quarterback that we want him to do. He's still going to be him. He's still going to go out and make plays, and, and he's going to do things that sometimes you you scratch your head and you go, man, how did he do that? You know, how did he make that play? But at the same time, he's 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 learned to balance the risk, the risk reward of, of when to take chances and when not to. And I think the experience that he's had through all the games he's played and started up to this point have helped him to get to that that point in his career. Some of the sacks that he took earlier in the year, was that because he was still believing, I gotta make a play out of this, I gotta make a play out of this? Because the other night at Pittsburgh, look at a couple times earlier in the year, he may have gone down, he got rid of the ball instead. It looked like he was coming along in, in that set. You know, the, the part of it for him is making teams defend all of him. He's a threat with his arm, and he's a threat with his feet. I think early on in the season, he was trying to show everybody, that, hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a thrower. And, and, and didn't necessarily utilize the other part of his game that makes him so special. I mean, that's what makes him who he is, is he's got that rare ability to do both. Um, and now that he's used that, he's continued to use that element, he, he's, he's that much harder to defend. Um, and I think him understanding that, understanding when to take those chances, when to hold it account longer, you know, based on the down and distance, based on the defense you're seeing, and when it's, when it's time to tuck it and go. What does it say about him when you go back to South Carolina and at the time he told us he got out of his system by Saturday, he said yesterday, it lingered for a couple weeks. You start to track that out, it gets close to the Delaware game, and he had that negative situation. How has he, you've seen him just grow as an individual, which obviously has applied to how he handles his job since then? Well, I think, I think he learned valuable lessons from those two experiences. Sometimes as a, as a quarterback, you don't have a great game. Fortunately for him, in the Delaware game, we were able to win that game through some of those experiences. In the South Carolina game, it cost us. And, uh, you know, for him, the, I think the Georgia Tech game was the turning point for him in his season and his confidence. Because we came right back after that Delaware game. Coach put him right back out there in the starting role and said, hey, you're the guy, we're, we're going. And in the crunch of that game, he had to make the critical plays. And he did. And he didn't blink. And I think he built a lot of confidence from that. And that, to me, was what was able to put those early games and those early struggles behind him. And he was able to keep moving forward. He kind of reached a critical point in that game because you guys were down 21 nothing. He was going into his third possession. He'd had, the, I guess, the, the pick earlier. And you guys hadn't scored yet. When you, when you think back going into that third possession, was he at a fork in the road as far as the season goes? Or is that too dramatic uh, to say that? It's probably too dramatic to say that. I mean, it, it, there's always going to be ebbs and flows of the season, goods and bads, and, and as a quarterback, you've got to continue to stay balanced through them. Understand that there's going to be plays in a game that, that don't go your way. Minimize the risk or minimize the error that happens in those plays, it, to me, is the key, and that's the game management part. He's minimized the risk. He's minimized the error in plays when things aren't there for us. Um, and then he's taken advantage of the opportunities and the shots and the big plays that, that have come for us. So and we needed him to continue to do that to stretch, you know, to finish out the season. Very good. Thanks a lot.